Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how authors work with copy editors in OJS. In the previous videos, we saw how to submit to an OJS journal and how to respond to the request for revisions. Once your revisions are accepted, you'll need to wait for the journal's copy editor to work with your manuscript to improve the clarity and consistency of your writing. Once that's ready, you'll receive an email to review the copy edits. Let's take a look at our inbox and see what's there. We can see we have a message, copy editing review request. And it lets us know that it's been through the first steps of copy editing. And there's a list of various steps we can follow within OJS to complete the copy editing process. Let's jump back over to OJS and take a look. First thing we'll need to do is log in. Select our one active submission, go to In Editing, and down to the Copy Editing section. At this point, there's a few things that we can do. We can review the metadata of our submission, where we can confirm that our author name is correct, affiliation, the title and the abstract, etc. Jump back. Next, we can take a look at the copy edit instructions. This will just provide us with some information about how the system would like us to respond to any of the comments that the copy editor has made. Here we can see any copy edit comments that have been left by the copy editor so far. There's nothing. But if it was here, we could see them, and we can also add our own comments. But we'll just close that for now. Now, if we go up to step one, the initial copy edit, we can see a linked file here. This is a copy of our manuscript that we submitted that's been through review, through our revisions, and has now been worked on by the copy editor, strengthening our writing. Let's download that. Now, we would open this up in our word processor review the changes, and make any changes that we think are necessary um, before it goes on to the next stage. We might want to record those changes directly in the manuscript using something like track changes in Microsoft Word, or we might just want to make our comments within OJS in this bubble, typing them in here and then saving them. If we did decide to make them within the manuscript itself, we would then need to upload our revised version, and we would do that following this familiar pattern. Upload. And now we can see in step two, we have the, co the author copy edits available here, and the copy editor will be able to access those and look at what we've done. There's one important final step we need to do here, and that is to hit this complete icon. And this sends a message informing the journal that we've responded to these, co these copy edits. Let's send that off. And we can see the complete date of today. And that's it. In the next video, we'll take a look at the proofreading process that's going to happen next. Thanks for watching. See you next time.